we're taking all of our empathy and trying to get some insight. Like, how are we going to solve this problem? So you're going to go from empathy to insight. So where does empathy begin? Well, it begins with a method called Rose Thorn Bud. And it's a method for seeing the problem. We're actually going to make observation using the metaphor of a rose. Okay, Rose Thorn Bud, it got its start from the Boy Scouts of America, uh, in which the boys, when they would go out in the wilderness, were asked to make observation using the metaphor Rose Thorn Bud. A rose are all the things that are positive, uh, things that are working in, you know, less in the wilderness, but maybe like a product or an application. What's working? What's going well? What are some things that make you feel good about what you're observing? Thorn, just like it sounds, might hit you or prick you on the skin, might be a negative connotation. Could be something you know it exists, but you have to negotiate around it. And it doesn't always have to have a negative connotation. It could be a challenge, a challenge that's worth solving for. Last is the bud. This is the idea that there's a potential about to bloom, another rose. And the really interesting thing about uh, the bud is it can also be a thorn and a thorn can be a bud. You can call them a thud, a born, but they're sort of interchangeable because an opportunity, uh, you can see an opportunity inside of a challenge. But here's a little twist. With the bud, it could be an idea that you had years ago and you just didn't know where to apply it and you could see it happening here. Or if you're working with other clients, they'll say, you know, we were thinking about doing this idea a couple of years ago. And you say to yourself, oh, that's a potential. We might want to bring that forward. So what you're seeing here is a paper-based version. You can also do this on a spreadsheet here on the left, you know, just color the cells, make your observation. This is really handy, especially if you're working with lots and lots of people who can't go out with you and make those observations. And then of course, on the right is a digital whiteboard version, which is the one we're going to use.